Hello and welcome to Analytics Course. In this video, we are going to talk about GDPR and Google Analytics, and more specifically, the implications of GDPR on your Google Analytics data. So this is in response to an email that was sent out by Google, letting us know what was happening with GDPR and the steps we need to put in place in order to be compliant with the new regulations. So if you want to learn more about GDPR, specifically how it pertains to Google Analytics, you're going to want to check out this video because we're going to talk about the basics. Let's talk about Google Analytics and GDPR. So if you've been living under a rock lately, you might not know this, but the rest of you should probably know that GDPR is coming on May 25th, 2018. We've talked about it in several of our videos here. and. There's lots of resources available on the internet about GDPR. So I'm not gonna go through the details of what is GDPR. You can educate yourself on that one, or if you want me to make a specific video on that part, do let me know. But I wanna talk about what this means for your Google Analytics data specifically. So we have exactly one month from the release date of this video to get compliant with GDPR and understand what it means for us. And I'm gonna anticipate that everybody who takes my analytics course, everybody who watches these videos wants to know, how does GDPR affect my Google Analytics data? Well, I'm going to attempt to answer that at least somewhat, but I'm also gonna give you some more resources you can use to educate yourself as well. And I wanna start with a disclaimer that I don't know all the answers and the stakes are high here. So if you have a lot at stake with GDPR, if you're heavily based in the EU and this could impact your business, then you should seek legal counsel because a video on the internet is not the same as, as legal counsel. So you should seek your own legal counsel that's gonna give you specific answers for your specific situation if you're in that boat. But I will do my best to interpret what's happening. So Google sent out an email to every single Google Analytics account admin, and I'm gonna give you the details of what was in that email. First of all, they just reinforced that GDPR is coming. It's May 25th, 2018. Makes sense, we know that they are introducing something that is new into the product and that is data retention controls. Basically, you have the ability to control how long data is stored on servers and when it gets deleted. And this is something that's going live on May 25th, 2018. You can actually go in there right now and change these settings, but it goes live when GDPR goes live. So if you go in here, you look at Google's data retention support article, you can see the details of what's going on. You can see the time period in which you retain the data and you can make a choice around this data. So if you go into your Google Analytics account, what you'll notice is the default time period is 26 months. But you can extend that if you want to, or you can make it so that it doesn't expire at all, or if you wanted to, you could lower that time period. Now, I haven't had a chance to research what the significance is behind 26, 14 months, and so on and so forth. I don't really have an opinion as to what the right term is. Maybe I should have done some more research before I recorded this video, but frankly, a lot of us are still trying to navigate the landscape as to what the GDPR rules mean for us and how it impacts everything that we do. And so I haven't had a chance to do the research. I really wanted to get this video out here in a timely manner versus understanding every single thing because a lot of these things are unknown or things that will be affecting us in the future and we just don't know how it's gonna happen. There's also a user deletion tool if you wanna delete things like client ID, user ID, or if you're running apps, the app instance ID, you can get the ability to delete people based on knowing who they are, user ID or client ID. And so if you're merging people's data in the cloud, if you're doing some of the things that we talk about in analytics course or the things that we even talk about in these free YouTube videos, you might wanna enable those things, right? You might wanna do user ID, you might wanna do client ID for cross device tracking. We have a great video on that, but there's a downside of that as well. And that is sometimes people don't wanna be tracked across their devices. And so you need to give them the ability to delete that ID so that, that data is no longer merged. The next part of the email is basically Google saying, hey, we've already done a lot of stuff for you. We have all these features that you're probably not using like customizable cookie settings, privacy controls, data sharing settings, data deletion on account termination and IP anonymization. We talk about these in analytics course as well, but there are certain cases that not everybody needs to use. So you might decide, hey, maybe I'll try to use these things now to be compliant with GDPR. The next thing to note is that you're pretty much opted into these changes if you wanna continue using Google Analytics. They basically say your data processing agreement is gonna be amended with these changes, whether you like it or not. And that's probably a good thing because the law is coming and what's Google gonna do about it? If you don't opt in, it's still their responsibility because they're the ones that are housing the data. 
Of course, on the other hand, Google reminds you that you are the one that's responsible for compliance, not them. They give you the tools to do it, but you need to be the one that executes it, and you need to understand what's happening here. Yes, it is something where it is a big annoyance that we have to change the way that we do business, but ignorance of the law is not an excuse, so you need to understand how this law impacts you. And finally, Google reminds us that they have a bunch of other stuff that you probably ignored before, but you might care about now. For example, privacy.google.com slash business. I had no idea this existed, and I'm going to have to do some more research on this as well. I was clicking around. I was wondering what it meant and how it really impacts me or anybody who's watching this video, but I didn't have enough time or enough desire to form a thesis. I really wanted to get this video out so you could understand the new GDPR updates. So let's summarize those updates. Number one, Google Analytics will allow you to become compliant with GDPR. They're giving you the tools that you need to be compliant. They're doing at least the bare minimum, and you could say they're doing even more than that when you add it all together. Number two, Google has new products that are being released just in time for May 25th. So as of the recording of this video, not everything's been released yet, not everything's rolled out, but they are gonna be putting out new tools for you. Number three, it is your responsibility to become compliant. Even though Google is the one who processes your data, even though it's a platform that we think is a black box or something that we just put some code on our website, it's still your responsibility. Because even though Google makes it easy, easy is not the same as something that is legal or something that is right. So you need to make sure that even though it's easy, you understand what you're doing, what you're collecting, and how people can opt out of it. Number four, Google has lots of resources that you can use to sort through and learn more. You should self-educate here. Even if it's just a little bit, make sure you understand what you're getting into. Number five, for the most part, it appears collecting analytics data is gonna be business as usual. It's not changing much, honestly. Like you still have the code on your site, you're still collecting data. There are some nuances to it. There are some things where people can opt out. But generally speaking, for the 99% of users who are not opted out, it's gonna be business as usual. But number six, if somebody opts out from being tracked and you're in the EU, then you need to understand how to process this request. So stay tuned. I think I'm gonna to put together a video on how to actually do that, how it looks, maybe going inside of Google Analytics and removing somebody from the system once that tool is available to us. Finally, I'm gonna end with two questions. One is, how many of you are actually planning to opt out of tracking yourself? Are you gonna opt out of all tracking and make it difficult for people to track you across the internet? Are you one of those people? And I'm not saying that in a negative way. I actually think it's sort of cool if you decide to do that. I'm probably not going to because I think that a lot of times cookies and analytics make the internet better because we can improve our experiences because we can not give people the same experience all across the board. We can give better experiences based on the data that we know about people. And finally, what are your questions about GDPR? If I'm going to make more videos here, then I want you to leave a comment and let me know what your questions are so we can answer them in our upcoming videos. And that's it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed this little look into GDPR, see some of the tools that Google has in the pipeline, and I look forward to answering your questions in the comments.